That is semi-final two of the men's 400 metres T47. Among the key names here, Gunter Matzinger of Austria, who also competes in the IAAF circuit. The world champion from Lyon in 2013. And the reigning Paralympic Games champion over 400 and 800 from London 2012. Adonis Oresti of Cyprus winning gold in the two and the four in Christchurch in 2011. This is Matzinger. Now, as you'll see, his right arm is the prosthetic, and he was running for Austria in the European Games. That's on the IAAF, the European Athletic Circuit, last year. And obviously carrying the baton in his left hand, he locked it across the arm of another athlete who had it more naturally in his right, dropped the baton. And Austria, who were in gold medal position in what was the European Team Championships as well, the uh, fourth division of that, they finished a half point behind Slovakia, ended up getting the silver. But then, a positive dope test, involving uh, Azerbaijan a few months later. Positions were reversed, and they got the gold anyway. There was some drama in the life of Matzinger. I would imagine that that situation and not being Slovakia's fault. They uh, were allowed to personally keep the goals, and Austria were given a new set. So Mazzetti of Italy oh, in three, yeah. his first major championship. Yilmaz of Turkey in four, Aresti of Cyprus in five, Matzinger of Austria in six, and Remy Mazzi of Belgium in lane seven. Finished fifth in the 400 metres in Swansea two years ago. Now they're going to have to reset this, I'm afraid. Massetti, who's in lane three, still very young at the age of 22, but he had qualified for the last Paralympic Games in London, but picked up an injury in the run-up to the big event and missed it. So the man they called El Bomber hasn't competed in a major championship since, unfortunately. I think that was the Cypriot athlete, Aresti, not happy with the positioning of his blocks. He is somewhat of a legend back home, the first Cypriot to win a Paralympic medal. He got silvers back in Beijing over the two and 400 metres, using his experience and showing that he wasn't quite ready. It's a previous European Championship of this as well. In uh, Stack Canal in the Netherlands, in this 400 and the 200 back in 2012. No medals for him in uh, Swansea though. Well, that's a full start. I think that's Matzinger in six. It did look like it was one of the two outside lanes. Now, that would be a real shock for the Austrian, the reigning Paralympic champion over 400 and 800 metres. Loads of experience, not really under massive pressure here, Will, because it's the first three to go through. As full IAAF rules, so ostensibly you do get punished and unless that's put down as a faulty start it's going to be a red card and to me it definitely looked like Matzinger which if it is he would be a massive massive shock he's being pointed to what's the color oh dear well, one of the hot favourites for this title, the previous world champion, the reigning Paralympic Games champion, and he's been disqualified. And I'm just wondering if the little bit of jitteriness involving Oresti alongside him uh, just beforehand when they had to reset affected him slightly, Rob. But that's amazing. He's a man who's conquered his nerves to become a double Paralympic champion inexperienced there from a man who should know better and he doesn't have an opportunity now to become the european champion that's a shame he's a brilliant athlete matting it but he's not going to win this full start in the semi-final so four in this now the top three to go through Massetti and three Yilmaz for resting and five matsi is in lane seven and it makes the task a little bit easier for the likes of Oresti and he might just take 10, 20 percent off his performance here because it would have been a, an interesting race between him and Matsuka in order to get the victory in the semi-final but Oresti is not being arrested in his progress, he was way out in front, he's even overtaken Massey way out on the outside lane in lane seven, Massetti and Yilmaz are 
realistically jousting for second at the moment. Maxi may not be too far out of it, but Oresti is well ahead of the rest at this stage. The double champion over two and 400 metres in Christchurch of the World Championships in 2011, and he is way clear, and he's going to win this. It doesn't need to be an impressive time. He's going to win this at a real counter. Yilmaz will be in second place for Turkey. Oresti wins it for Cyprus. Yilmaz second for Turkey. And it was really tight for third. Masetti might just have got that on the nod for Italy. And of Massey of Belgium in fourth place. Very little between third and fourth. Automatically, Masetti will go through. Massey will have to wait, but may well have been fast enough. 53.80, Oresti's winning time. You know, it was a completely different race once uh, Gunther Matzinger was disqualified. Still really amazed by that because he was brilliant in London four years ago. But those are the rules, and he fell foul. And Donis Oresti ran really well there. And I think all four of the men from this semi-final will have gone through because of the times in the first of the semi-finals. So you can see Oresti second from the left-hand side there. He went sweeping past Remy Marzi, who, as I said, I think he's gone through as a fastest loser anyway because it is generous qualification three plus two. So it will be Oresti's job to try and deny the Russian defending champion Kotlov another gold medal. Good performance from the Cypriot, and you suspect he'll need to go faster in the final. So Resti takes it, 53-77, Yilmaz and Mesetti both through, Remy Mazi, 55-92, misses out by 400 of a second, he looked to have done everything right in this, but he was edged out in third place, Mesetti with 55-89 was a hundredth of a second slower than the slowest fastest loser, Bagani of Italy in the previous race.